There was a time when Union Square was the place to be if you wanted to shop or dine out in San Francisco. And opening up shop there was a huge deal. It was the high ticket real estate, the high traffic area. Of course, nowadays, it seems like you see more for lease signs there than ever before. But one of the biggest celebrity chefs in the game saw that as an opportunity to bet on a neighborhood a lot of people seem to be abandoning. Our Betty Yu met up with Tyler Florence in Union Square, where he's working to open not one, but two cafes. We're actually baking products in house. It's going to, the whole part's going to smell like cookies. Celebrity chef Tyler Florence is partnering with the city to open not one, but two cafes in the heart of Union Square. It's part of San Francisco's plan to revitalize downtown and promote it as a global shopping and dining destination. We want this to be a cultural impact, you know, make a big difference in the city of San Francisco, and, uh, and, and really, even from a citizen standpoint, lean in. Like, we can't complain about it. We can't point fingers. I think it's everyone's collective responsibility Pick a neighborhood. Playing off Tyler's Chase Center Steakhouse, the artisanal cafes will be called Miller and Lux Provisions. The Stockton Street side of the plaza will feature an eatery that offers savory and all day brunch options. This space has been vacant since 2020. We're going to rip all this out. The Powell Street side will feature European style pastries, and he'll add 140 seats in the courtyard where waiters will take orders from customers. He hopes it will also turn into a major event and theater space. I think we'll do thousands of covers a day. It's a project he hopes will breathe new life into Union Square and help counter the doom loop associated with downtown San Francisco. And I think people need to just look in the mirror every day and to realize that we can't live like this any longer, right? With the crime and, and car vandalizing, and, and theft and robbery. I think on the other side of the coin is the positivity in the city. In the last six months, Mayor London Breed said the city has made significant progress on its plan to activate vacant spaces and make streets cleaner and safer. This is San Francisco. You know, we've solved a lot of the world's problems and created, you know, uh, uh, one of the largest economic powerhouses in the world. We can't fix homelessness in San Francisco. We can't fix this problem. I think we can. So this is my opportunity to make a big statement. The proposed three-year lease will go before the SF Rec and Park Commission for approval later this month. Rec and Park is really excited to work with Tyler. Uh, he has three successful restaurants in San Francisco already. So we want to recreate some of that magic and bring it here to Union Square. The goal is to open both projects by late October or early November. I want San Francisco to be the place I fell in love with when I moved here back in 2007. We're going to make it happen. Um, the, the, we will, we will uh, make the city proud, I promise you. And this will be a spectacular location that the world will pay attention to. So while those cafes are still in the works, Hotel Zeppelin near Union Square just opened up its new restaurant. It's called PLS on Post. They are serving up gourmet smash burgers and loaded milkshakes that you can make boozy if you want to. It's important for everybody to understand that, you know, some of the negative headlines in, in San Francisco that grab attention. We're, you know, we are really part of a, a new wave of businesses that are coming alive. Yeah, at least 24 new businesses have opened up in the Union Square area in the past year and a half. And for people who work downtown, a new bar and restaurant is officially opening up tomorrow in the financial district with one very unique feature, a martini button or a kind of martini switch. Booths at the Holbrook House have switches that allow you to summon a champagne or martini cart to your table.